personality traits and the relationship with kind of stress and adjustment level. Curiosity is a really interesting one to look at in relationship with adjustment as well because Adjustment is about how people react to stress, how people respond to stress, and how susceptible they are to stress, really. So when we look at curiosity and people's approach to new information, ideas, or techniques, that combination with curiosity and adjustment really tells you how people are going to react when they're not in their preferred environment. So people who are highly curious, have high curiosity, prefer kind of more new ideas, being learning new things, and getting access to new information and new techniques. If they have high adjustment, they probably have that preferred method, that preferred way of working. But if they're in a more kind of stable, conservative, traditional environment, they're probably not going to get too stressed about that um, if they have that higher level of adjustment. If they've got lower adjustment, then they're probably going to get more stressed, more frustrated, more grumpy um, if they're not getting that novelty or kind of new approaches, new techniques, new learning they're looking for. Uh, whereas on the other side of it, if people have lower curiosity, they prefer that more kind of stable, traditional, consistent work environment, way of working, um, like to be using the same techniques, the same methods, the same tools, um, repeatedly in a consistent pattern. So if they prefer that environment, but have kind of higher levels of adjustment, then if they're in a more new, uncertain, unstable, um, kind of novel environment, then they're probably not going to get too worried or stressed about it. Whereas if they prefer that certainty and have much lower adjustment levels, being out of their comfort zone is probably going to be much more stressful, much more difficult. It's going to be in a more emotionally difficult situation for them. So you can really see with that adjustment level and those curiosity levels, how, what people's approach is to information and what their response is, what their emotional response is going to be when they're outside of that comfort zone or that level where they're happy, whether it's being in a very new novel environment or whether it's being in a kind of consistent and stable environment. So look at those traits when you're having any sort of organizational change, when you're looking at culture shifts, when you're looking at people moving to new jobs or new offices, new environments, new roles and responsibilities. That's a really good combination of traits to look at to see how people might react.